my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I ain't invited this Get man. Get your ass on, man. Oh, look. It's the new kid. Yeah. Why aren't you in middle school? Because he tested straight into 11th grade. Yeah, I'm skipping 9th and 10th. Skipping 9th and 10th grade? Does that mean you're gonna go to class with us? What are you, some sort of progeny? The word's prodigy. Yeah, and he's going off to college next year. Unless you flunk out. <laughs> Sick burn, dude. <laughs> Sick burn, dude. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> No bullshit, bro. Rowdy like- Man, those guys are rude. Don't worry, they're like that to everyone. Mia! Andrew, there you are. I'm so glad you're going to Rebel High with me. Yeah, but I'm in ninth grade and you're able to start in 11th. My mom's making me do it because that's what my brother did. Well, I just wish you were in class with me. Well, I just wish you were in class with me. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! No bullshit, bro. Rowdy like- Tell me about it. Oh, better go. Oh, hey, Andrew. How was your first day at Rebel High? I'd rather be in ninth grade with all my friends. You should be happy you're in 11th grade. You'll graduate college before your friends even get out of high school. That's what you said when I skipped 6th grade. Can't I just play baseball, Roblox, and summer camp like my friends? What are you talking about? You did summer camp last year. Mom, math camp doesn't count. Can't I just be in 9th grade? Now, Andrew, your brother graduated early and you can too. After all, that's what your grandpa expects. You know that grandson of yours ain't going to amount to anything. <laughs> Andrew's your grandson too. If only he was like the other one who skipped high school and went straight to Dale University you mean your other grandson, Timothy? Yeah, that's why I'm paying for his college. Because he's a real go-getter. You know, every kid is different. Why don't you let Andrew just be himself? Fine. He can slack off if he wants. But I'm not paying for college. You mean Grandpa? Dale University this and Dale University that. He's so old and confused. I don't think he even knows where I go to school. That is no way to talk about your grandpa. He is willing to pay your way through college and if you don't get in soon, it may never happen. Oh, you think he might be taking a dirt nap if I take too long? Andrew, that is not nice. We just don't want to waste your potential on a lot of high school. Andrew's grandpa will only pay for college if he graduates early, but he just wants to stay in ninth grade. Oh, hey, Mia. Andrew, I wanted to know if you could come to my birthday party. Oh, yeah, sounds like fun. When is it? It's Saturday. Oh, no can do. I've got scouting on Saturday. Not this Saturday. Saturday the 15th, silly. Perfect! I'll put it on my agenda. Okay, my house, 11 o'clock in the morning. See you then. So, what's the food like here? We didn't have this at my old school. Oh, it's great if you like pizzas and burgers. <laughs> oh, guess who it is? Ha! Does that train come with training wheels? <laughs> Good one. Leave us alone, Hunter. We're carbo-loading for the SAT. SAT? Do you let kids take the SAT now? 
I bet he can't even spell SAT. Well, at least I know what SAT stands for. Well, after you flunk it, you'll have to repeat junior year. Whatever. Okay, class. Today we're gonna do an SAT practice test. Hey, Luke. Junior's this way so I can see your answers. Hunter, there's no point in cheating on the practice test. You're only gonna cheat yourself on the real one. Which, by the way, the actual SAT test is on Saturday the 15th. Mia's party is on the same day as the SAT. What will Andrew do? What is it, Andrew? Can I take the next one? I can't do the 15th. The next one is offered in the fall, and it's only for retest or medical exemptions. Oh man, that stinks. <laughs> Look, Andrew. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. <laughs> what is it, Luke? Can I do my retest now? No, a retest is only if you do poorly on the first one. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. It is for standby admission purposes. And medical exemptions are only for serious illnesses. Mom, I've got a big problem at school. Really? What is it, sweetie? I've barely started and now they want me to take the SAT! Well, Andrew, to get into Dale, you have to take the SAT. This whole being a junior thing stinks. Can't I just transfer to ninth grade? I don't know how many times we have to go through this. You're gifted and I'm not holding you back. Whatever. Can't I just take the SAT in the fall? Absolutely not. Next fall, you'll be starting college. Oh, great. Now I'm skipping senior year, too. I'm not debating this with you anymore. Now go up to your room and study for the SAT. Like I need to. The SATs look easy. Now it's time to take the SAT. You have a maximum of two hours. I'm gonna start the two hours, right? Wait a minute, where is Andrew? I don't know. <laughs> Probably chickened out. Excuse me a moment. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Walker? This is Andrew's mom. We miss Andrew. Where is he right now? He's supposed to be taking the SAT at school. Yes, I know he is, but we have a medical emergency right now. Oh my goodness, is Andrew okay? Oh yes, Andrew's fine, but my grandfather passed away. Oh, I didn't realize Andrew had a great grandfather. Oh no, it's not my grandfather, it's Andrew's grandfather. Well, it was, until today. I certainly understand. I will put Andrew down for a medical exemption. Yes! I mean, yes, we're making preparations right now. Oh my goodness, that's awful. I should do something for them. <laughs> that was almost too easy. Andrew, you're a genius. Okay, students, back to the SAT. Your two hours start right now. You didn't have to cut me off. Like going? Uh, to take the SAT. The SAT? With a gift bag? Well, yeah. They don't allow backpacks, you know. Okay, but you better not be pulling any funny business. Of course not, Mom. You know me. <laughs> yeah, I know you. 
Thanks for having me, Mia. I wouldn't miss your birthday for anything. Well, now that we're in high school, birthdays probably aren't cool anymore. Yeah, high schoolers are so artificial. Well, maybe it is for you juniors. I'm still a freshman at heart. Ah, I see the party started without me. Jimmy, I'm glad you finished. Hey, buddy, I need you to do something for me. Hello? Hi, this is Jimmy. I mean, Dr. James Smith calling from the school. Oh, Dr. Smith. Is Andrew all right? Yes, Andrew's fine. His teacher got uh, sick during the SAT. Oh my goodness, is she okay? Well, we certainly hope so, but we had to cancel the SAT today. Oh, okay, well, I, I understand. I'll come right over and pick him up. Uh, no, 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 don't go to school, D don't do that. Really, why not? Because we need to keep all the students here and test them, but not the SAT. Okay, I understand. Should I just wait for another call? Oh, no need. I'll send him home when the party's over. Very well, then. Party? Andrew lied about his grandpa to the teacher and to his mom about the SAT being canceled. Will they ever find out the truth? I wonder who that can be. It's so good to see you, Mrs. Parker. I hope you're doing okay. I'm doing fine. What can I do for you? I'm so sorry to hear about Andrew's grandfather passing. What? Who told you that? You did. We had a phone call about it yesterday. I called you. Give me a minute. Hmm. Hey, Andrew. Do you have something you want to say to your teacher? Oh, hi, Mrs. Walker. That's not what I'm talking about. Andrew, did you call me yesterday pretending to be your mother? Well, it depends on what you mean by call. Did Andrew's grandfather pass away? No. Yes. Which one of the two of you is right? I have something to show you. Papa! What is it, sweetheart? Your grandfather is not gone. Andrew, you lied. No, I'm not lying. My grandpa is gone. Are you talking about Grandpa Anderson? That's right. He passed away four years ago. That's no reason to get out of the SAT. You skipped the SAT? I had a medical exemption. Grandpa Anderson. Thank you. I will be taking care of this. All right then. What's this all about, honey? That grandson of yours is skipping school. Don't you think you're being a little too hard on him? When I was his age, nobody helped me out. Nobody gave me a ride. I had to walk uphill both ways to school. Things are different now. Kids have a lot of responsibilities. Other than school. Like what? In my day, we had no color television or cellular phones. Well, today kids have a lot of peer pressure. There's after school activities. They have social media. He's got to stay in high school. I guess you're right. Things are not like the old days anymore. Brenda, I think we're being a little too hard on him. I agree. I know you have your expectations and I don't want to let you down. On second thought, let a kid be a kid. Let him enjoy high school. Really? If that's what you think. But Andrew, lying. It's no way to get what you want in life. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I'll never lie again. I'm still gonna ground you. This is 
such a lovely home that you have. Have you lived here? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> that was bananas. You should have seen your face. <laughs> you guys sure are funny. You guys sure are funny. Oh, we know. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit. <laughs> oh, well, I have a whole fun evening planned for you guys, too. So do we. You know what, sis? I'm feeling kind of hungry. I could go for some chips. Oh, sure. Me too. Be right back. <laughs> so, do you guys get a lot of babysitters? You're the fourth this week. Wow, that's a lot. Not really. <laughs> I got chips. Here you go, sis. Thanks, bro. And an extra special bag for you. And why would they be extra special? Because you're special. <laughs> 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 ah! <Is that> a <laughs> <laughs> it's made of candy <laughs> guess you guys got me again we know, we know. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys maybe want to watch a movie no we could watch a scary movie no let's play a game <laughs> this game it's called Monopoly, and whoever owns the most property gets the most money. And then you win. We usually play for real money. Not Monopoly money. Oh no, I'm not playing you for real money. Your mother warned me about that. Oh, it's no big deal. It's only one penny per dollar. <laughs> That's like play money. That's fine. Your turn, Isabella. Well, the good news is I'm about to pass go. Oh, boardwalk. Oh no. Boardwalk with four houses is $1,700. Oh my gosh, this is almost all my money. <laughs> and don't forget, 17 real dollars. <laughs> Why did I agree to this? All I have is $10.50. It's not enough. That's it. Game over. <laughs> That's okay. You can owe me the rest. That's what we usually do with our other babysitters. <laughs> what are you guys? Professionals? No, we're just kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's enough fun and games. It's time for a movie. You guys want to go grab popcorn and drinks for us? Oh yeah, uh-huh, we'll get it. Okay. We'll just clean this mess up. Hey kids, someone delivered a big box for you. Let's go open it. Let's go open it. I wonder who ordered this. I don't know, mom won't let me have candy. Well, I can. Let's open it. <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> you got us. Best prank ever. <laughs> you can't outdo the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids, enough pranks. Let's grab the snacks and it's movie time. <sighs> what is this? <laughs> kids that's enough it's time for bed but it's only six o'clock and the movie's not over oh no you don't have to really go to sleep this will be a prank on your mom you know we've never pranked mom before you're right that's brilliant <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much your check is on the kitchen counter great i need it <laughs> thank you see you next time Probably not. Oh look, the 
were asleep. Surprise! <laughs> oh, you had me going. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> you should know we never sleep this time of night. <laughs> I'm glad you kids are fine. I'm sorry about the babysitter. Oh yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> she was like no babysitter we've ever had before. <laughs> Good to know. Do you want to tell her? No, you tell her. <laughs> Let's both tell her. Okay. Best babysitter ever! <laughs> really? Wow. We thought she'd quit like all the other babysitters. But she totally went with the flow. Can we have her back next week? Please? Uh-oh. A text from Mrs. Williams. Wait a minute. They want me back? 